Hello everybody, welcome back to another video. My name is Nalo and today we're going to be talking about bitskins. Or should I rather say the lack thereof of bitskins because a lot of malpractices have been putting them in the gutter recently with some Twitter drama and some drama on Reddit and a lot of big YouTubers calling them out and it kind of just doesn't look good for them right now. So let's talk about the problems with it so that you can make an informed decision on the third party site that you want to use for your market. But before we get started guys, I did want to mention that I do have a Discord server now so if you want to get to know me a little bit better, want to ask me some questions about investment ideas that you have, or want to ask me some questions about my videos, maybe you want to do some fan art or something like that for me, then all of that can be done through the Discord server. I'm pretty active on there and I am answering a lot of questions on there. So if you want to join that, feel free. It's a really vibrant community already inside of there and it's a lot of fun. So go check it out. Also, I do have a Twitter account if you want any updates on future videos and want any extra information on videos, just go feel free to follow that because that's where you're going to get the notifications faster than YouTube usually will, just because YouTube is kind of slow with some notifications. So guys, with that being said, thank you so much for watching this video and let's get straight into it. All right guys, let's get down to the issue here. If you've ever used Bitskins before, you probably know that the site has a very positive outlook by the community of CSGO. A lot of people like to use the site because it has very low prices that you can just put your money in and get a lot more skins for value than you regularly would on the Steam Marketplace. Some of the skins are even up to like 34% off, so that's really, really cool. So knowing about the positive outlook that Bitskins has had from the community in the past, this new sort of downfall that it's having right now is coming at a huge surprise to a lot of people, including myself. So let's compile all the information so far. So let's begin with Chili's ban. Basically what happened here was he had about $70,000 on his Bitskins account and he got banned because he was selling one of his ops for around $800 to someone and so since the person only had around $400 on Bitskins, that person bought one of his lower tier items for about $400 and then paid the rest in Steam items. So basically what ended up happening was Bitskins thought that it was a sort of malintentioned practice, uh, sort of a malintentioned buy and so instead what they did was they banned him so that they made sure that he wasn't like a bot or he wasn't doing some weird sort of shady thing on their site. Now normally I'd say this isn't really a big deal, Bitskins is just doing what's on their normal protocol, but the problem here is that Chili is a really large user of Bitskins already. He had $70,000 stored on Bitskins, and so instead of taking some sort of investigation into the account and uh, looking into, you know, why this person with $70,000 in their Bitskins account randomly got banned from them, instead what they did was they just straight up banned him with no investigation, and they didn't even respond to him on Twitter for a very, very long time. This is kind of a big deal for Bitskins because why would they just go into someone's $70,000 account and ban them straight off with no investigation even when their account is such a large user of the site already? Really the only logical explanation for this is some sort of shady practice that Bitskins was trying to do. Obviously getting someone with $70,000 off of your site is taking a huge amount of responsibility off of your back so it's kind of a weird thing for them to do and I don't think they did it because of that reason but that definitely is a discussion that we need to bring up. Anyway guys if you want more specific information on the Chili Band specifically go check out Nomi. He did a really good video on the chili band specifically so if you want more information on that go check out this video i'll leave it a link in the description below all right with that being said let's move on to the next topic the next topic we're talking about is bitskins removing a lot of the ways to deposit and withdraw and removing a lot of the ability for people to put their money onto bitskins and to take it out of bitskins all right so the first deposit and withdrawal thing that bitskins did was they removed the ability to use crypto deposits on their site and this affected all cryptocurrencies like bitcoin ethereum litecoin anything like that you could no longer use them to deposit onto bitskins and obviously this is a little bit weird weird because depositing and withdrawing uh, money from Bitskins can be done really, really easily through cryptocurrencies. A lot of people were talking about how their banks blocked G2A and stuff like that. So being able to use cryptocurrencies instead of that was a really good solution for a lot of people that they, know can, they can no longer use coming up on July 2nd. So as we can see here, it's a little bit weird, especially because these cryptocurrencies were being used quite a lot on Bitskins. And also, if you noticed, Bitskins name is actually based off of Bitcoin. And so they kind of don't even live up to their namesake anymore because of they removed the ability to use cryptocurrencies to deposit and withdraw on their site. This isn't new information though, this has been known for about a month now and it's not actually happening until July 2nd. So if you have any sort of cryptocurrency stuff on Bitskins that you need to withdraw, then go do that now because otherwise you're not going to be able to in the future. And this especially sucks for people that have a lot of their cryptocurrency stored on Bitskins because these people are not going to be using Bitskins anytime soon and they're probably not going to know about the change and they're going to lose a bunch of money because of it because Bitskins isn't being super transparent with this change at all. And and we actually had to learn about it from Reddit and not Bitskins themselves, despite me using Bitskins probably a lot more than I do use Reddit. Now, obviously, I wouldn't have as much of a problem with this if Bitskins was a little bit more transparent about it. If they announced it on Twitter or in a blog or news or something like that, then it wouldn't be that much of a deal to me. 
But because I had to learn about this from Reddit and not Bitskins itself, that means that a lot of the opportunities that I use on Bitskins right now could go away and I wouldn't even know about it because I have to use really deep dive just to find out the information about it. In other news, Bitskins also did something to people who are using G2A pay in countries that are sanctioned by the United States, like Bulgaria, for example. As you can see by this Reddit post here, he was trying to use G2A pay to deposit money onto Bitskins and he was blocked because his country was sanctioned by the United States by an embargo. Now, obviously, this isn't something that Bitskins can fully control because it is sort of something that is happening politically and Bitskins is just following it so they don't go underwater because of a political scandal. Now, although that may be true, there is still some transparency that Bitskins could have had with more people about this G2A pay change because this is something that affects a lot of people. If they have money stored on G2A and they want to use it for Bitskins, they can't use it anymore because our country is sanctioned. Obviously, even though that isn't Bitskins' fault, they can still be a little bit more transparent about it and still notify more people about it and work to be a better site in the process. Now, for people who deposited recently, Bitskins also did something else kind of shady. They increased the withdraw funds time from 7 days up to 21 days, and 7 days was already bad enough as some Reddit users were saying, but going all the way up to 21 days is a much bigger deal, and this is actually kind of a site ending thing for a lot of people. A lot of people are actually changing sites completely because of this increase to 21 days. And once again, Bitskins did not tell anybody about this change. They kind of just implemented it without any further notice on Twitter or anything like that. They're being really, really shady about it, and they're not letting everybody know the information that they need to know to continue using their site. And again, that's one of the biggest problems. If they would just be transparent about it, then I wouldn't have as much of a deal with them as I do now. But guys, now on to probably one of the biggest issues is their new 15% fee charge that they are charging new users. So this is only for new users, but they implemented a 15% charge. So basically, you're going to have a 15% fee on all of your transactions on Bitskins if you're a new user. And that decreases down to 5% if you just withdraw or deposit or do any sort of market transaction on the site at all. But again, it is a 15% for new users, which is already quite a large increase from the original 5%. But the interest interesting thing about this fee change is that it's only mentioned on their FAQ. If you actually go to their fee schedule page that they have available on the site, it actually doesn't say anything on there about their fee schedule actually having a 15% option. It only tells you about the 5% option that's already there. So if you're a new user, it doesn't even tell you that you have a 15% fee. You have to find that out by looking at the fee schedule on the FAQ and not the fee schedule specifically. So guys, that's going to be the end of this video. That's going to wrap everything up. So thank you so much for watching. If you enjoyed, please leave a like on this video and consider subscribing for more content like this or leave me a comment down below telling me what you want me to improve in the next video or tell me something that you liked about this video or leave me a suggestion for a video in the future. Hopefully this video informed you guys about more of Bitskin's practices because I know they weren't really being that transparent about them and hopefully this is actually going to save some people from losing money on Bitskin's from some random practice that they're implementing. And uh, guys, let me know what you think about Bitskin's down in the comments below if you're still going to use them or if you're going to move to a new site like Skin Baron or CS Money completely, something like that. Just tell me in the description below what you think about that. Um, also, if you do want to make sure that you go over to Bitskins and withdraw or deposit anything that you already have, just want to get out of the site now, then that's something that you could definitely go do. I do recommend it if you want to get off the site. And uh, guys, that is about going to end it for this video. Again, thank you so much for watching. Thank you for all the previous support. And uh, hopefully you enjoy my future series. I'll catch you guys next time. Peace. Also, guys, one last thing. This video idea was actually suggested to me by Hetfield in my Discord server. If you want to go ahead and request a video for me to do in the future, then you just go to my Discord server or ask me in the comments below and I'll check out your idea and maybe I'll do it. Who knows?